I'm reading the following article verbatim, written by Sam Perlman, Door County Living, September 1, 2006, and also published in the Door County Pulse. Before the Swedes or Norwegians, before Moravians or Belgians, before Captain Bailey or Increase Claflin, even before French explorers such as Nicolay and Radisson, who began visiting the area in the 17th century. For hundreds of years before the European exploration and settlement in the Great Lakes region of what we now call the United States, indigenous tribes fished the waters and hunted the forests of the land that would eventually become known as Dora County, Wisconsin. Based on archaeological records as early as 11,500 years ago, Paley and Indian people had discovered the Dora Peninsula and decided to live in the area due to the availability of essential resources. There is good reason why the Indians found the Door County Peninsula such a, a congenial place of habitation, writes H.R. Holland in his 1925 history of the area, Old Peninsula Days. Hunting was as good as elsewhere in the state. There was an abundance of maple trees for making sugar, and in addition to this, they had rich fishing in the surrounding waters. From 10,000 BC on, the land of the peninsula had been continuously occupied by various Native American groups. At least five aboriginal community sites were known to have occupied the immediate vicinity of the present site of the city of Surgeon Bay, which included the Cardi site. The site yielded many artifacts from the Paleo-Indian era, some of which are on display today at the Door County Historical Museum on 4th Avenue in downtown Sturgeon Bay. Most of the information about Wisconsin Paleo-Indians has come from the studies of fluted points pieces of stone crafted by human hands into arrowheads, spear points, and other tools, says author Carol Mason in her book, Introduction to the Wisconsin Indians. For many decades, local farmers plowing fields have been known to find arrowheads and other preserved artifacts on their land. The type and location of these articles have helped to create a fairly accurate portrait of the lives of these earliest inhabitants of the Door Peninsula. The native peoples of those times were primarily hunters and gatherers, nomads who would obviously be attracted to the abundant food in the area. The next period in the native history is known as the early middle woodland North Bay culture from 0 to 400 AD from 2000 to 1600 years ago. This time period saw the transition of Native Americans from nomadic hunter-gatherers to plant cultivators and pottery makers. With those occupations came more community stability and also permanent homes and encampments. There are three particular sites in the Northern Door, the Richter, the Miro, and Hines Creek, which have yielded significant evidence of permanent Indian villages from this era.